All right, what's going on, everybody? It's Dave from the Erie Better Beer Bureau. Uh, this is my brother, Dan. What's uh, up? He lives over in uh, Poland, in Jeshev, and he was nice enough to bring back some uh, barrel-aged brews from Poland, and this one is from Kingpin Brewing, and uh, we're gonna do it blind on uh, Jay and Pat, and we'll uh, see what they think, but Dan, uh, can you tell us like a little bit about this thing? Yeah, I got this at like um, one of the best like uh, brew pubs, like gastro pubs that they have in Warsaw. Um, Kingpin's like a pretty good brand. They've got some um, good ones. The craft beer scene in Poland is kind of just starting to, you know, catch up to the other countries. Yeah, but a little limited right now. Yeah, but the number of breweries has just kind of exploded like right. recently in the past like three years. So uh, this one says that um, thanks to the uh, the long amount of time it's been laying or and in the uh, oak barrels um, that uh, it's with sweet white wine AOC um, it has a strong uh, imperial IPA taste and a solid uh, but sweet um, concrete uh, aromatic and bitter flavor of American hops um, kind of an amber color and a rich uh, aromatic wine smell to it. Okay. Uh, it also says that it has some kind of like cinnamon and imber uh, along with um, honey, um, pineapple, mango, and caramelized fruits. Okay. So. so the only words I could actually read on the bottle, because it's all in Polish, is that it's an imperial IPA aged in white wine barrels. So we're going to see uh, what Jay and Pat think of this one, and uh, we'll go get them and let you know. Ooh, quite malty. Yeah, definitely yeah. malty. Malty, slightly sweet. Sweet. Definite hop aroma on it. A little bready. Yeah, kind of a, a bready earthy hop on it too. A little bit of like a faint, real subtle caramel. Kind of a biscuit on it too. Yep. Cheerio. <laughs> There's one other aroma in there yeah, that's I'm, kind of, I just I'm, can't quite pinpoint. I'm trying to figure out what it is. Like a faint juniper berry or a there's a spiciness to it almost, uh, it's like a, I don't know if I'd say juniper, but I might have to taste yeah, it we to might figure that out. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. It's, just, it's almost like a tequila note. And it's it's fairly mild on the taste actually, but it's it's a very pleasant mild taste. It is. It's it's mild, it's malty, but then there's some other flavor in yeah. there that it has it has a little bit of like a sharpness to it or something. That's why I said tequila. Um, may not actually be tequila, but there's something going on with this one. Yeah, and there's almost there's almost a, an astringent kind of a bitterness on the back end of it. That is an interesting beer. Is this one from Poland? <laughs> okay. It's actually kind of sweet up front, and it fades into this this bitter back end. And it's a nice. It's actually a nice contrast in the beer. And it, kind of the difference between the the foretaste and the. It's like yeah. an English mild with a punch, if you will. There's there's something else going on, other than just the sweet malty flavor. There's some other flavor in here that I can't quite pinpoint yeah, what it, it is. It lingers into the aftertaste. It too. does, yeah. It's good. It's 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 different. It, it's kind of like I said before, it's kind of like an English beer, kind of on the mild side. It has that sweet malty taste, but then there's something else going on. I just can't quite put my finger on it. I don't know what to give it blind because I have no idea what it is. I'm going to give it a three and a half. I'm just going to play it safe and roll towards the middle. Patrick? Yeah, I, <laughs> again, I'm I'm very puzzled by this beer, and I'm sure Dave loves breaking this out on us oh, with us not. I'm having enjoying no every it second. Is. Yeah, <laughs> it, it it's kind of tasty, and and I I have had to slow myself down drinking it a little bit. Mm -hmm. I mean, it has a, a nice sweetness right up front. It fades into this 
this curious boldness on the back end that's just kind of bitter and kind of has a liqueur quality to it. Mm -hmm. And it fades further and further into your aftertaste as you drink it. But it's it's actually pleasant and it's every drink of it's asking me to take another sip of it. So I'm actually enjoying it quite a bit and I'll give it a 3.75. Okay. Cool. So uh, you're dead wrong. It is an IPA. Okay. However, it's an IPA aged in white wine barrels. This ah. is from Kingpin Brewery. Uh, it's called Headbanger. It's their Imperial Pale Ale, hmm. Imperial IPA, aged in white wine barrels. Well, I could see the barrel. Like I, I kept thinking like it was barrel aged, yeah. but it when was... you kept saying liqueur, I think that like you're getting like the white, like the right, wine yeah. character out of it. Yeah. I mean, it's certainly not aggressively hoppy. No, no, no. <laughs> but I do get a, I did get like I think that bitterness at the end is more like the hops, you know, and it's aged. So yeah, I think no. that like real tropical stuff kind of aged off. But yeah, Kingpin Brewery from. Are they from Warsaw? What is the ABV? Eight point something. Eight, okay. Eight point six maybe. That's an interesting <laughs> beer, man. I never had anything like it. So thank yeah, you. It's very different. <laughs> yeah. Until next time. Cheers. Cheers.